Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. I came across a project recently that when I looked at it, I thought, wow, this has all the elements of all the other projects I've been looking at in this domain. And of course the domain is churches. So I decided to kind of make this a case study and an example. So we've got some photos that we'll share with you as we move forward. But this case is really typical of everything that churches have going on. So as you can see in this photo, we have a large sidewall and there's all windows. And now they have some shades on the sidewalls, but shades, you know, not really sound absorption technology, not really barrier technology. You know, they're flimsy. So they're not going to stop certain frequencies from striking the glass and they're not going to absorb enough frequencies that we can lower the reverberation time in the room. So those windows on the sidewalls are a problem. And almost all churches I see have those, okay? And not one that I deal with, and I probably dealt with hundreds, are willing to cover them up, even on a temporary basis during service. So it's really a really big problem because you all know from my past videos what, what glass does to middle range frequency. So then you can see in the photos, we have a large ceiling area. Now, thankful it's wood. Okay, so wood has some sound absorption uh, properties, but in this church, it's a 750 seat venue. So we've got a large surface area. Large surface areas of anything, even if they're like soft wood, are a problem, okay? Then what we have today, which we never had when I was growing up and going to church, um, maybe if they did, I would have wanted to go more, <laughs> but they have live bands. They have drums, they have guitar, uh, amplifier cabinets, uh, singers, bass guitar. So it's really a full presentation. Well, we know that that's going to produce lots of low frequency energy in the front of the house or the front of the church, so to speak. So, and remember, our goal is we want to hear the spoken word and we also want to hear the music. And both of those indexes are different. So. That's why it's so hard to get good sound in churches, because you have this real narrow band of RT60 time that works for both speech and for music. And most of the time it's, it's a compromise. And most of the time the band has to play within a, at a certain pressure level, so they have to be quiet. And that, it's difficult. Then if you add choir to it, you have more issues. So, and here's our other issue with churches that we always talk about. You need 65 to 70% of surface area coverage to treat the reflections off the surface area. So that's an issue. And then of course, they don't have any money. So we got all of these problems, two, three, four, five, six, and no cash. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we have to do it then in phases. Okay, we have to use a phase approach. Now, a phase approach means taking two surfaces. We have to have two. We can't just do one because you can't treat one side of a church and not the other. You'll get phase issues or you'll get everyone in the congregation leaning like this to one side. <laughs> no, but that kind of illustrates phase issues, okay? I could just imagine the pastor sitting or giving a lecture at the front of the church and everyone's leaning like this. But you have to be careful. So we have to treat two surfaces minimum, okay? That's just a requirement. Now, what two surfaces do we have to treat minimum? The sidewalls. Those are our biggest culprit because our ears are on the side of our head. Sidewall reflections contribute to a lot of the distortion and reverberation time we hear. Ceiling, not so much. Rear wall, not so much for the audience as it is for the performers on stage with that slap back at them. So you mix engineers and guys who work in control rooms, you understand that. So we're going to do a phase approach. We're going to do two surface minimums, and then we're going to come up with a budget that can satisfy that, okay? And we have our church program where we sell you the material. We waive the design fee. There's no design fee. Our design fee is about 1500 bucks for churches, one room. We waive the design fee. We do the calculations. We find out how much it's going to cost to cover 65 to 70% of the surface area. 
We give you a number and then we sell you the raw materials. Usually it's foam, our two inch foam that's made for voice and music. It's not noise technology, it's made for voice and music. So it doesn't overabsorb or underabsorb. So we can satisfy our speech intelligibility and music intelligibility, if you will, indexes. So we'll come up with a program, won't cost you anything to do the design. We'll run the analysis, get you a number, and then you can buy the raw materials from us. And what we usually find in churches is that there's some member of the congregation that has a, a woodworking skill set. If you have a woodworking skill set congregational member, they're usually willing to volunteer their time and build the support structures to hang the panels on the walls. Basically, we're building a picture frame to support the foam because the foam is not rigid. It's, it's flexible. It won't you know, stick up on a wall by itself. You have to support it with a wood frame. And the nice thing about the wood frame is it provides rigidity and holes so you can hang it like a picture, okay? So for churches, we do a phased approach. We eliminate the design fee, run the calculations, get the required surface area coverage, put a cost to it, and then you can purchase the raw materials and find a congregational member with our guidance and drawings to build the products to do it. Then you have to do the installation. Then as you go down the road, you know, we use another phase because just treating two walls is never going to be enough. 65 to 70% coverage. So I hope this kind of helps. I hope this example here that we're up against gives you some idea of what churches are. In, in my view, it represents everything I see every day with churches. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.